Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's move on to the more challenging task of adding and subtracting rational expressions. And yes, the very same rules that we've learned in adding and subtracting fractions when we're just dealing with numbers apply here when we're dealing with polynomials, polynomials instead. So let's say that A, B, C, and D are polynomials. Then what are the rules when we try to add and subtract? What are the basic rules? Well, first of all, notice that when we're adding and the denominators are the same, we can simply write both A and C as an addition, as a sum, over the common denominator. And the same thing applies when we're subtracting. When the denominators are the same, it is fairly easy. We can simply write the difference of the two polynomials over the same common denominator. So that makes it pretty easy. So the first thing we do is we make sure if the denominators are the same, it's a piece of cake. But what if the denominators are not the same? For example, here the denominator is B, and there the denominator is D. They're not the same. So one way to make them the same is to multiply the left denominator by the other denominator and the right denominator by the first denominator. But of course, if you multiply the denominator by something, we must also multiply the numerator by something. So notice our left fraction, A over B, becomes A times D over B times D. We do the same for the second one, but now we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the first fraction. And so here we have C times B divided by D times B. Now notice both denominators are not the same. B times D is the same as D times B, which is BD. And then we can write the two numerators, A times D plus B times C. It doesn't matter if I write C times B or B times C. I always like to write it in alphabetical order. And so that means that this cannot be written as this, and now we can easily simplify that if those were indeed polynomials. Or, if that doesn't work, there's other things we can do, such as finding the lowest common denominator and then changing every denominator to that lowest common denominator. Of course, we're going to show you some examples to see how that's implied, but just remember these basic rules and it will be much easier to add and subtract rational expressions. And that is how it's done.